fantasy, I call it life of paradise Checking Fahrenheit's fixated, paralyzed But always lucky cause I fixed the freaking paradise Waited in my favor, I ain't waiting up for later Welcome back guys, I was just saying uh, I wanted to make a beginner front lines guide for people who might have been trying to get into it and just didn't know what to do or maybe they haven't tried it yet and just don't know where to start alright so I'm just gonna get into uh, why I play it because this is part of the game a lot of people like the PvE content but I mean I'm an avid lover of PvP I love it it's just different for me it gives me a good way to level up all my classes so uh, number one um, I play you know most people play for fun and I do as well but in real life I'm playing for the the wolf marks so I like going to these guys finding something I like like I said whatever that may be you know, I just try stuff on do it for the for the clout Don't lie to you. I find stuff that I like and I go get it. Cause you ain't gonna get this nowhere else. You gotta get it here. It's gonna be a wolf mark. So if you need a reason and you like, I don't know why I would play. Mm, you might wanna try looking at some of this stuff, man, that they got just sitting over here chilling. Cause I ain't gonna lie, some of it's good. Some, like I said, some of it is just to be different. You know, you never know. You might be trying to complete something that you've been working on. Like I said, some of this stuff is actually, like, amazing. Like this staff I got on my back. Look at this, Black Mage 34. You think you're gonna have a staff like this? Hell no. You ain't gonna have no staff like this. <laughs> I got this from doing wolf marks, doing PvP. Just bought one. So I can always have a cool looking staff instead of that little pointy triangle thing that they give you in the beginning. But um, the other thing that I do is um, before you guys start, another good tip is to just check your um, PB skills because trust me, it's different. Like this is what they give you when you play PBE, right? But if you go all the way down here and you look at your PvP profile, you will notice that your job actions are different. <laughs> it's way smaller and sometimes these compound on each other like they're their own little combos and they switch. And you have to sit here and read some of these because like I said, see how at the bottom of um, Blizzard 4 it's saying like this action cannot be assigned to the hot bar? That's true but also not true <laughs> it's gonna be something it's gonna be one of these other skills is gonna transform into blizzard 4 is what it's really trying to say like thunder 4 comes from thunder 2 so thunder 2 after it goes under certain conditions will transform into thunder 4 so you have to pay attention to stuff like that so just go inside of this pvp profile and just give it a look like it's really useful and at, for, I'm talking about for every class every class you switch to find one stick with it for a minute and make sure you understand your skills that is very important um the good thing you don't have to worry about being level 80 like I'm level 34 and I go in and I wreck shop right it's not item based or like you know like all your points under your character like none of this stuff matters right you just can come in here and there's a baseline set for whatever class you choose and that's what you run with, you know. Um, when you start playing, like when you get into an actual match, one of the next tips that I want to give you guys is I usually just find the healer and I mark them. Like, let's see if I, this guy just happens to be there. But you can click on a person and you can mark them with a some type of symbol and so at the start of every um pvp match that i do 
I mark the healer. That way I know who I need to run to when I start getting hurt and I ain't got to worry about looking around too much. I'll be like, oh, there's a big triangle. I got to go to that. Or that's a big plus sign. I got to go to that so I can not die. You know what I'm saying? Because the healers are usually in the back. And when there's so many people running around, you don't, you don't want to just be trying to like run for dear life. You're like, I need to run in that direction. There's a plus sign over there. That's where I need to run to. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> that's a really important one that I suggest everybody does um another tip would be how many tips are we at I think we're at five I think maybe six but let's say let's tip five tip five um don't forget to actually play the objectives that's what a lot of people a lot of people go into pvp and they try to just fight that's not really what we're doing in there is there's always some type of objective like whether you gotta catch a zone or you need to destroy some type of ice or a building or maybe there's mechs and you gotta get the little people like there's different if you guys haven't actually looked at this like if you haven't actually looked at the pvp stuff like the modes there's actual different modes where like they change like, I think this time is secure. Might be what's going on right now. And, where's the silver eye? Anyway, it, it might be shattered. Anyway, it changes. But, the last time I played, there was big ass ice blocks. And you go and break those. And that's what gives you points to win the objective. Uh, if you ever play Rival Wings that's another one where I, that's what i was talking about with the mechs like you have to basically play like what is that other game called clash you have to basically play clash with like gundams and you have to get your people over to their little symbol and the little people blow up their symbol like way more than you could do damage to it as a character you know what i'm saying like the it it only helps to get the little minions to the to what their tower is so they can blow up the tower you know what I'm saying like you doing damage on your own is not the objective so you won't do that much damage so play the objectives guys that's that's a really big part of it it's just play the objective you're gonna kill people yes and I make guides to show you guys how to kill people with classes so if you haven't checked those out go ahead and check those out if you're like trying to figure out which class to do I'll make a different video for that but this is just for people to have like a baseline of front lines. Um, another thing, when you're doing objectives, now that we're talking about objectives, don't forget to check your map because the objectives pop up all over the map. And if you never actually like press the square button and like look at your map and see where the objectives are, then you probably won't know where to go and your group is going to be moving and you're going to get left alone and you're going to die so that goes to the next tip never be alone always be in some type of big group doing something don't don't ever just be by yourself because there's like a horde of like 10 people on the different team that's going to see you and you're going to die like it's it's not even going to be a question you're going to die always be with somebody don't ever just be by yourself and um my last tip i'll show you guys so this is where you do wolf marks just in case you guys don't know how to get here so it's right there underneath the banners you go into there get your wolf marks and you buy stuff do it for the clout because look at my staff looking luxurious i would never get rid of this staff until i find a cooler one but um my next my next little tip is just to go over here which you guys have seen me do in my other videos and click on the striking dummy if you're not used to the skills yet then you need to come over here to the training dummy get used to the skills see which turns into what skill and then figure out how to burst down on an opponent so that you can kill them the fastest if you never do that and you just try to play and you might have like a little success but you won't really have like those high numbers you know what i'm saying like you won't have a lot of kills you won't have a lot of assists like your damage is probably going to be under 100k per match 
like you want to get 100k damage per match if you have like some type of dps class that lets you know you're doing decent you know what i'm saying you're not going to be the best but you you probably got like at least five let's say five or six kills if you're a beginner like you just started and you got like five kills let's say three deaths and like two assists that's okay that's okay I, I will say that that's okay you killed five people that pat on the back like you deserve that but if you if you got like zero kills and you got like eight deaths and you got like no assists maybe like one or two then it's you it's it's your skills you're, you're not used to your skills you don't know what they do so you need to come back to the striking dummy you need to practice on your skills learn what turns into what learn when to use what learn what chains to what so that you can kill people and that way when you go back in there you'll be like oh my damage numbers are going up it's like yeah and then you're gonna be like oh my damage numbers went up my kill numbers went up my assist numbers went up that's what i'm talking about so you gotta come over here mess up this striking dummy so when you get in there you won't be lost and trying to figure out what your skills do but um like I said, I'm going to probably make some more beginner videos for you guys coming up soon. So make sure to tune in for those. Uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and end this one here. Maybe I'll make you guys another one. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Let's see how this one does first. But I'll try to put out a couple videos to help you guys on getting started on PvP. Maybe some more class ones too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.